And welcome back to the wonderful world of power boating in paradise with members of the Florida Power Boat Club. Stu Jones here, president of the club, along with our producer, Ryan McCoy. We're hanging out in the man cave, guys, uh, the FPC studio, and we're here to showcase continuing coverage of the Emerald Coast Power Boat Week 2021 edition. And we have been just having a riot watching all this video footage and uh, tracing back the memories from this September event. In our last episode, we wrapped up that famous Miss Power Boat Week contest uh, with three beautiful winners on the stage. We also gave you some highlights of the Friday night captain's party at AJ's in Destin Harbor. And of course, we got out on the waterways with our fantastic members as they pulled up dockside for their poker card number one on that Saturday morning run as our chopper crew chased the boats from San Destin to Pensacola Beach. So we're going to continue all that madness, but before we do so, let's thank our sponsors. Our 2021 series sponsors include Blackwater Boats, Deep Impact Custom Boats, and their worldwide dealer, Plantation Boat Mart, Mystic Power Boats, and newest to our 21 series sponsors is Cigarette Racing Team and their authorized dealer, Top Gun Yachts. Also, their Florida dealer, Chief Marine Group in Isla Mirada, Midnight Express Power Boats, Myco Trailers, Mercury Racing Wide Open, Performance Boat Center with two locations in Florida and Missouri, and Nortec High Performance Boats. In addition to our series sponsors, we'd like to welcome feature sponsors for the Emerald Coast event, including Alicomp Insurance, Emerald Grand and Harborwalk Village, our Poker Run headquarters, Legendary Marina Destin, our official launching and staging headquarters for the event, and AJ Seafood and Oyster Bar on the Destin Harbor, our official sponsor dock for the event, and our newest sponsor, Fear the River Poker League. So let's get back to this beautiful Saturday morning in Destin as we hand off poker card number one from the Harbor Walk Village docks. And when I say we, I mean the beautiful Autumn. There she is on her first uh, event with the club. And that is Frank Bolte and uh, Team Shark Rider, 44 foot MTI, powered by Mercury Racing 1100s. They brought the boat all the way from Fort Lauderdale. Uh, Captain Sean and his uh, first mate, Luca, who take care of the boat. And of course, uh, Frank Bolte, who comes all the way from France to join us for these runs. Frank and his beautiful wife, Grazia, have become regular members on these FPC events. And it's time to welcome uh, Jake Nossaman and his crew. Home port is in Oklahoma, but he does spend a lot of time at his home in Fort Lauderdale. And what's different about this picture? Well, it's that big 50-foot MTI center console. Guys, that is an amazing machine. Kind of funny when I think back to Jake back in the earlier days uh, joining us here on this Emerald Coast event. Remember him pulling up in his 28-foot DCB cat with a big smile on his face saying, hey, let's get this going. I'm ready for a poker run. Well, fast forward to today. Look, at he's got himself this big, awesome machine. And he's a smart man because he's got Captain Pete at the helm, and that means it's time to play. And it's the lovely crew member Candace uh, who's going to be getting the poker card today at this checkpoint for Team Toots. That is uh, Stephen and Casey Head in the formula. Candace, I have only one question for you, dear. Where is your bikini? And it's time for Team Recovered Money. This is Nick and Christy Evans from Indiana. And they made it a kid-friendly event on this uh, statement center console. Uh, but the reason they brought the statement was because their big 50-foot Nortec cat wasn't quite ready with all of the updates they've done to the boat. Hey guys, we've all been there before. Nice to have a backup boat, especially when it's a center console. You can bring your family and all your friends. And I get to say the very same thing about Steve and Lisa Young here in their 38 foot statement pulling up to the dock. They said in their video bio, Naughty Habit is set up to accommodate as many friends that want to come and it's built for partying with a great ride. This is their seventh year attending the Emerald Coast Poker Run and they say the reason they keep coming back, it's the best poker run they do every year. Well, thank you guys. And we get a chance to check out this cool cat one more time. I'm talking about you, Bill, <laughs> and your boat. First time I've seen one of these 30-foot Liberators. Uh, not sure where they're built, but just take a good look at this boat. I love the lines of it. The green sparkles are a nice touch, you know, on this Emerald Coast event. But it's that pair of Mercury Racing 300Rs that really takes the cake for me. And let's welcome for their very first time Chad and Natalie Opaleski and Team Halfcock. 
35-foot fountain, a boat that we've seen before. Well, that's no coincidence. Uh, used to be owned by Steve and Lisa Young, who invited them to join the poker run. I wanted to read their event comments because these are very dear to me. Uh, they said it was a beautiful location, and FPC made everything so easy. The weather was perfect. Everyone was kind and helpful, but they really liked how much less traffic there was on the waterways due to the September date change. And let's say hi once again to John Heiss and his crew from the Panama City Beach area in this cigarette uh, 42 Tiger, one of a kind, uh, no other one like it, a 2000 model, over 20 years old and so well maintained, the boat looks like it's new. And time to uh, thank our sponsors from Plantation Boat Mart. They came a long way to be here as the lovely Bree goes up and gets the cart. Dennis Delatore at the helm of this 36-foot Blackwater Triple Mercury 350 outboards. Uh, a great poker run boat, a great fishing boat, and so easy to trailer, you gotta love it. And let's welcome Al Copeland Jr. and his wife Liz on their brand new Nortec 390 Sport with a wild wrap. Yes, indeed, I thought it was paint, but it's a wrap and it looks absolutely fantastic. Quad Mercury Racing 450 yards. That's right, Liz, you got the lucky card. And uh, nice to have you guys here. I know it's been a long time since we've seen you on the Emerald Coast event. In fact, I remember back many years ago when you and uh, your late father, Al Sr., would show up and put on a great show here with all your hot rod boats. But looks like you're in that nice center console now, a lot less wrenching. What a great boat for poker runs. And let's welcome the Bachelor family. Uh, they've been here before and they came back because they had fun. Chris Bachelor, his father, Chet, and the rest of the crew, they had so many nice things to say about the poker run and everybody that they came in contact with. And one thing in particular I liked was that they kept the boat over at Brooks Bridge Marina. And they said they had the best experience you could ask for. The service people were nice, facilities were top notch. And clearly to me, the bachelors are a good illustration of being able to enjoy a poker run in a 23 foot power boat. You don't need to have a 50 foot hot rod, right Autumn? Yeah, I know that's what she says too. And let's welcome Michael and Austin Bull in this 30-foot uh, eliminator with some big power, 800 horsepower, custom-built engines. That's right, 632 cubic inches. Long-time attendees here at this event. Austin watched him grow up around this poker run. He's already 22 years old. Michael said in his uh, video bio that he's a real estate broker and uh, owns some properties right nearby on Okaloosa Island and loves boating in the Destin area. And here comes the surgeons, that's right, Tony and Jessica Gilo in their Midnight Express, which was completely redone. In fact, they even renamed her as Code Blue. That's a medical term for those of you who don't know. And what do they love about hanging out on this poker run, their third time now? They like going fast, seeing all the cool boats, and it's pure motivation for work. And what a great looking crew they have. A little side note, guys, they did this event a year earlier, driving the boat all the way from Dunedin through the Gulf of Mexico to join us here in Destin. Wow. And time to say hi once again to the Baxley crew, Broxon Bree from South Carolina in this Nortec 390 Sport Team Impromptu. When this boat turns, you'll see what I love about these graphics, not overstated, just a simple charcoal gray, nice red stripe, black bottom. My favorite combination, those of you who know me, and I just love this boat. One of my favorite Nortec 390s made my choice for the FPC wall calendar. And they often say uh, it's cheaper to keep her. No, Jeff, I'm not referring to your first mate who's uh, reaching out for that lucky card. Talking about this 1999 fountain, a 42 Lightning, which was completely refurbed in September of 2016. Custom paint by Stephen Miles Design, a makeover on the 700 SCIs. Uh, upgraded drives, custom Mercury Racing number six props, JL audio system and marine mat. Guys, that's how to redo a boat. Well, it's another boat from Georgia. That's because we got a lot of Georgia teams here. Uh, picking up the card now for Bill and Jen Howell on this 34 foot Nortec. Looking mighty fine in your black bikini there, lovely. And uh, yes, indeed, a team here that is having fun with their pirate flag flying. They probably got that at the Pirates of Lanier and doing a great job of representing that Nortec brand. Looking good, Billy. Well, guys, I could stand on that dock all day long and watch the teams come up, but hey, getting up in the helicopter, not so bad either. As we now catch up, that was Jake Nossiman in that 50-foot MTI, five Mercury Racing 450s, a team wired up. He's also got a 48-foot MTI catamaran, so not a bad combination at the dock. 
but you can only enjoy one toy at a time. And it uh, doesn't hurt to have a little help on board. He usually has his buddy Kyle at the helm helping him out, but this time it's uh, Captain Pete Waller from Georgia who came along his first time uh, managing the affairs for Jake and the crew. Because let's face it, guys, this is one big ride, and the more help you can have, the better. And a very special introduction to Mark Campbell and his crew and Team Six Shooter, this 42 cigarette with some serious power. Guys, I'm just going to let the boat do all the talking. And time to uh, check in on this card number two checkpoint. Actually, it's a big, big yacht. I think the largest yacht we've ever had here at 130 foot Westport. Belongs to Shane Guidry, and he volunteered to have his uh, captain, Captain Sally, and the crew sit here on a hook. And this couldn't have worked out any better. A great rendezvous point down here in Sandestin, uh, right near the Baytown Wharf Marina. Looks like that's uh, Kip Patterson and Sarah pulling up right now in that 38-foot uh, fountain race boat. But just look at this shot as the helicopter circles, and uh, what a beautiful Westport she is, too. Team Relentless, 130-foot. In fact, uh, soon after the event, I saw Captain Sally and the crew bring this big beast into uh, the Westport's uh, yacht management facility up the New River in Fort Lauderdale before returning to her home port, which is actually in Palm Beach. But so kind of them to offer their assistance in making this such a cool checkpoint. And if you look really, really closely, you'll see that's Amber and Lakin, our FPC girls uh, on the aft section of the boat handing off the poker card. She's like, oh, I gotta have my bathing suit on for this shot. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Stu's gonna be so upset. I'm just thinking if I'm one of the deckhands or one of the crew members, and you know, I thought I was just gonna be sitting on the dock all day waiting for the boss to go home. And now it's like, <laughs> Oh, geez, we got a couple of hotties on the back of the boat handing out poker cards. We're going to have a continuous one hour show, front row seat. Now we got Team Yahoo coming up in that uh, skater, Curtis Morris and his crew. Bought the boat in May, and so far he did the Texas Outlaw Challenge, uh, which he won. Then they did the Lake Ozarks shootout in August, and here they are a month later in September joining us for Emerald Coast. Not a bad summer. And another team from Texas, Dan Knox and Team Hard Knox. And I think this might have been Dan's first event uh, with his brand new Wright Performance 360 Cat. And here's Matt and Anne Marie and Raymond in this 48 foot Fountain Express Team Miss Grace. Guys, uh, this is going to be some really shitty camera work here, but it's worth holding the shot because there it is. Oh, go for it. Oh, the lovely Lake and handing off to this beautiful crew member. Some shots you got to keep. And another brand new Nortec uh, with 450s. It's Roger and Pam Anderson. Another team from Texas and another Nortec 390. What a beautiful ride. Back up in our helicopter now with the FPC photo and video crew as we catch up with George Ariano in this big 47-foot Victory Cat. A one-of-a-kind boat, uh, Twin Mercury Racing 700 SCIs. And why is it one of a kind? Well, it looks like it's an original race boat that was completely refit for recreational use with cu cutting off the top canopy. I don't know the entire history on the boat, but let us point out this is not the same as those new Victory Cats that are coming in uh, that Fast Boats was importing and selling. And we have a few in the club, the 34 Cat. This is a big, beamy, you know, wide body, step bottom race boat with stern drive power. And I would be very safe to say that I wouldn't bet we'd see another one of these on a Florida Powerboat Club run for a very, very long time. Congratulations, George, on enhancing his fleet. And continuing on that subject of George's fleet, well, it's his 35-foot DCB cat, Mercury Racing Dual Cal 1100 1350s. I've had a chance to ride on this boat, and it is one fast cat, trust me. Let's say hi to Nick and Christy Evans, another couple who have a fleet of power boats, but they decided to bring the 38 Statement for the Emerald Coast Run. And we saw a lot of this boat in the previous episode. Bill Pico from Texas, a 30-foot Liberator Cat, Team 100, paired Mercury Racing 300Rs. Uh, that outboard that was just launched really just less than a year earlier got a chance to go to the grand opening uh, or the product launch for the Mercury 300R and it was my first chance to try out the new 300s. I rode around with Devin Wozencraft on his 32-foot skater and the boat ran fantastic. 
And of course, Bill is just another example of a guy with a twin outboard cat who's just loving life. These outboards are low maintenance and get great fuel economy. And it's one more time with John Heiss and this 42-foot Tiger. Let's listen to those engines roar. And one more time with Team Toots, uh, Formula 353, Stephen and Casey Head from Alabama. So they're not too far from home, just about 250 miles. They've done this event a year earlier. They had a lot of fun, so they decided to come back. And they've done at least two or three runs with the club. And one of the reasons they keep coming back, well, they said in their video bio, it's because everyone they meet in the club is friendly. And riding on board with them today are Matt and Candace from Panama City Beach. They joined them a year earlier, so they are the designated crew once again. Hope you guys had a great time. And let us welcome back Tony and Jessica Gilo in Team Code Blue. At least that's the new name for the boat. They've completely redone this 39-foot midnight. They're the only team that I'm aware of that has taken a boat all the way from Dunedin, Florida on its own bottom all the way up the Gulf Coast to the Emerald Coast event. This year, though, they said, no way, we're going to trailer. And if you hurt yourself on the poker run, you want to be around them. This boat is full of surgeons and nurses. And now we're going to catch up with the Fowler's uh, family affair here on this 38-foot fountain uh, center console. A boat that we all used to think of as just a fishing boat, but not anymore. This is purely a poker run boat, and they've done a lot of events in this fountain already. Triple Merc 400Rs, Kyle at the helm, and uh, Mom and Dad riding along. And you know what, guys? I can't think of a better way to have a good family reunion than getting together for the poker run. And it's one more time for Jeff Heffling in this 42-foot fountain. Looks like he got caught up right about the time we were coming off playing to slow things down. But we saw plenty of this boat running fast in our previous episode. Dropping down now with Bill and Jan Howell from Georgia in this 34-foot Noratech team. No complaints. Uh, they're uh, off duty to play this weekend. Bill is a Ford dealer uh, near the Lake Lanier area. That's, of course, where they do a lot of their family boating the rest of the time. Nice to have you guys. I know they've got a Nortec 390 on order. And it looks as though we're back here at this yacht rendezvous, card number two, uh, with this relentless yacht, 130 Westport. Thanks to Shane Guidry and his crew, Captain Sally, who uh, is at the helm of this big Westport. Actually, not now she's not. She's sitting on the back of the boat enjoying the show. <laughs> but they didn't have to come from very far. They had the boat docked over at the Baytown Wharf, which you can see off in the distance. And she is definitely the largest yacht we've ever used on the Emerald Coast Poker Run uh, as a card boat. And now joining uh, Al Copeland Jr. and his wife Liz in this brand new Nortec 390 team, Sweet Heat. And indeed, she is sweet. Four Mercury Racing 450Rs and a really colorful wrap along the sides and some graphics up on top. And that would qualify this team for the President's Choice for the best paint and graphics. Even though we all know it's not paint, but guys with these new wraps on the boats, we're going to allow those to be eligible for that award. And there's just so many reasons why a wrap is a great idea. It's awful fast and less expensive. And when it's time to sell the boat, you can peel the wrap and go back to plain vanilla. And it looks like we got a nice little Nortec segment going here. Thanks to Nortec High Performance for their continued sponsor support. Let's say hi now to Brox and Bree Baxley. That's easy to say. <laughs> in their brand new Nortec 390 uh, Quad Mercury Racing 450Rs. I can't really say brand new because they're uh, two years in a row now with this boat. I loved it when the first time I saw it, we got some great pictures and we put them immediately into the FPC wall calendar. Aside from the great styling uh, and the performance of the Nortec 390 model, it's got a 10 foot beam, so it does make it easier if you want to trail it around to poker runs, uh, certainly I know a lot of guys pulling these around without getting wide load permits, and that's a nice feature. And looks like, well, of course, it's another Nortec. <laughs> another new boat, too, Stephen and Kelly Marino. Enjoying their first summer with this brand new Nortec 390. They took delivery back in late April. Uh, they managed to do the Nortec owner's rally to Yusepa Island, and we were there for that. 
uh, later then uh, traveled with us over to the Bahamas all the way from Miami to Nassau and return. Uh, then it joined us up there at the Orange Beach Powerboat Week in May. And here they are now, uh, September at the Emerald Coast event. That's four in a row for the Marinos. Impressive, I must say. And this being the biggest of the Nortex here with a flagship 452 Superfish, Greg Bent and uh, Robert Sengelman here in Team Sango, Quad Mercury Racing 450s. And just a much, much bigger boat than its uh, sister ship 390 or 392. And you can see that that tuna tower folds up. Of course, it's in the down position now, so you can go out and do some tournament fishing. But they're not fishing today. They're just out cruising, having a good old time. Got a happy, fun crew on board. Always good to have these guys here. And chances are, if you see that Nortec Superfish, you're going to see this 392 Superfish really close by. That's because they do a lot of poker runs together. Patrick and Kristen McCarty from Louisiana. This is their brand new 392. It's got quad mercury racing 450 r's they are just loving the boat it's their second one now and the girls are in their bikinis and putting on a great show a very spirited team at all times love having these guys on the poker runs and they know how to do one thing really really well and that is have fun well i guess that means there's two things because they know how to look good while they're having fun and we'll give Kristen and the girls credit for that one And it's time to welcome uh, Jerry Swanson and Scott Swanson and the entire gang, their partners, Jim Duff. They've always got two boats on the run, this 46-foot skater, Team 22, big Sterling motors, uh, 1,850 PSI blowers. Uh, these are amazing engines that run on alcohol. I'm not sure if they put vodka or tequila in them or if just whiskey, but whatever kind of alcohol it is, uh, I'm sure it's very expensive to run this boat. Good to have Jerry and his team on board, and what an amazing ride that is. And here's a real blast from the past, at least for me, because uh, Wayne McGee, who's all the way from Virginia, was a member a long, long time ago with the club, and back then it was a cigarette as well. I can't remember which model, but here he is in this uh, really classic-looking 38-foot cigarette Top Gun, a pair of Mercury 540 Bulldogs, uh, great motors in their time, not to be confused with the 540s that I have in the Project 1080. Uh, but you just got to love the classic styling and the simple graphics on this 38-foot Top Gun. A boat that is not overstated and yet so popular. The number one build for cigarette over its uh, 50 years in business. Just amazing to see these Top Guns just everywhere on poker runs all over the country and around the world. And we're going to uh, downshift just a little, guys, as we now pick up our next card checkpoint. This is card number three at the Wharf 850, and that, of course is the area code for Okaloosa County, 850. And a nice a shot from the tail section of the helicopter as we're about to blow all these boats right into the dock. <laughs> but uh, I think we have one of our FPC, one of our new girls, Andrew Lee. Yes, indeed, there she is. Nice that she's got that big hat on to keep the sun off her. And how about that hair? Jeez, Andrew Lee, I never realized you had so much hair. And it looks like that's Octavio and Karen Valdivia enjoying their brand new concept, 44. Well, we didn't stay very long at that last checkpoint. Let's move on to now card number four at Two Georges Marina in Shalimar, a beautiful place, full service marina, covered boat slips, which is really hard to come by in Florida. But let's find out who's down on the dock handing out the cards. Hello, this is Sandra at Two Georges Marina for FDC. Well, there you have it. The lovely Sandra, and she, of course, was one of our FPC girls in the Emerald Coast Powerboat Week contest on Thursday night. So uh, let's welcome Sandra to the team. Handing off cards now, that was Chris Batchelor, but let's take a look around this of Two Georges Marina uh, in Shalimar because it's been a fixture on this Emerald Coast event for so many years. It used to be called something else. It was called Shalimar Marina years ago. But interestingly, George Fussell Jr. and his father, George Sr., who are from the Fort Lauderdale area, uh, decided they wanted to get into the marine business and they found this property. I think it's a gem. It has so many things that are so unique, like these covered slips. Uh, imagine having a big you know, cruiser, 40 or 50 foot cruiser, and being able to keep it in a covered slip uh, out of the sun and elements. But to me, this is just such a cool little marina. I guess it's really not that little, but I think it's just an amazing property. And a lot of you guys doing the poker runs could use Two Georges Marina as a staging platform. 
Well, guys, I guess we're going to keep moving. So goodbye, Sandra, as she hands off yet another car to this next team. But we're going to move our way across the course and uh, move closer now to the Intracoastal Waterway as we head westbound on the course, picking things up here at Brooks Bridge Marina, which is located in the heart of Fort Walton Beach. And again, another major facility that has helped us out with the poker run year after year. Getting poker cards right off the dock here. Steven Doomer and his crew on this uh, cigarette team, Loose Cannon, picking up their card. And here's what it looks like from the dock, guys. Not a bad angle from where I'm at. And here's one of our FPC girls, Lakin, uh, picking up a card for J.R. Adden on his 36-foot uh, Doug Wright. And uh, yes, indeed, that was an FPC girl handing off a card to another FPC girl. Wait a minute, do we even allow that? And moving further west on the course now, arriving at Juana's, uh, card number seven on this Saturday run. Of course, not as many boats here as we had on Friday because that was the Friday lunch run. It was a destination for all of the teams. And you can really see the difference in this shot compared to the day earlier when we had more than 100 boats along the beach here at Juana's. But thanks to them for being a big player in this event, and uh, we love coming here. Of course, we've got so many boats out on the Poker Run course right now going to multiple checkpoints. And our newest one here is Flounders at Pensacola Beach for card number eight. What a great location. You can see that there was some dockage available for some of our teams, but a lot of people just threw an anchor and got out in that soft sand and uh, made their way up to Shelby to get their card. So this really worked out well as we now see Team Hammer Time making their way up to the dock. They came all the way from Miami to join us. And there is the lovely Lana on their 38-foot fountain named, yes indeed, Team Lickalonapus. You can't make that stuff up, guys. And if you guys were paying attention uh, from the earlier shows, that wasn't just the FPC girl, Shelby. That was Miss Emerald Coast Powerboat Week 2021 handing off that card at Flounders. Guys, that uh, pretty much wraps it up for this episode. We're hitting the half hour mark, and I just want to assure you that there's plenty more action from the Emerald Coast in our coming episodes, and that includes more high-speed aerials from our FPC photo crew in the R44 chopper. We're going to be chasing down high-speed center consoles, catamarans, performance V-bottoms, and, of course, a little bit more fun on the dock as the FPC girls hand off those lucky poker cards. It's all right here on the FPC's YouTube channel. You can't miss another episode, guys, because we have got more Emerald Coast coming down the pipeline. Remember that you need to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss another episode of Power Boating in Paradise with members of the Florida Power Boat Club. Be sure to check out the website at flpowerboat.com for all of the details about upcoming Poker Run events in 2021, as well as membership information. You can follow us on Facebook at Florida Powerboat Club, and you can follow us on Twitter and on these Instagram pages. Thanks to all of our viewers uh, for your wonderful comments on our page, and you guys know who you are, and I really do appreciate that. But if you have questions or comments you want to direct to me specifically, please use my personal email at stu at flpowerboat.com. I check that daily, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. We're going to sign off for now. This is Stu Jones along with our producer, Ryan McCoy, in the Pompano Beach studio. Have fun out there, guys. Be safe on the waterways. Wear your life jackets when the time is right, and always respect your fellow boaters. Bye for now.